Finally, the debate which AI is better between chat GPT, DeepSeek, and Gemini ends with this well-known trick math question. The fly and cyclists problem is a famous classic in recreational mathematics, often attributed to John von Neumann, a renowned mathematician and physicist. The problem is known for its counterintuitive nature, where people often try to sum up an infinite series of fly trips instead of realizing a much simpler solution exists. The question goes like this. Two cyclists start 30 miles apart and begin cycling towards each other at 15 miles per hour. The instant they begin, a fly goes from one cyclist to the other, then back to the first cyclist, and so on, always flying between the cyclists. The fly flies at a constant speed of 30 miles per hour. How far in total does the fly travel when the cyclists meet? First, we will solve this problem using a direct method. When this problem was posed to John von Neumann, he immediately answered 30 miles. The person posing the problem assumed that Neumann had used the infinite series, but he was wrong. Neumann explained to him this direct approach to this problem. The two cyclists are 30 miles apart and are moving towards each other at 15 miles per hour each. Since they are moving towards each other, their relative speed will be 15 plus 15 or 30 miles per hour. It's like you stop this cyclist and give his speed to this one. Now the time it takes for them to meet will be simply distance over speed or 30 miles over 30 miles per hour or one hour. Here comes the magic. Since the fly is moving at 30 miles per hour, so in this one hour, it will cover 30 times one or simply 30 miles. And that's it. The total distance traveled by the fly is 30 miles. Look here. All the three AI, DeepSeek, Chat, GPT, and Gemini were able to solve this problem using this direct approach. But here's where things become interesting. As you can see, I asked them to solve this question using an infinite series approach, and this is the response that I got from them. Gemini didn't even try solving this question and started giving excuses like it's significantly more complex than this direct approach, as if I didn't know this. Then, unlike Gemini, DeepSeek at least tried solving, but as you can see, it is giving its final answer as 60 miles instead of 30 miles which is obviously incorrect. And look here, DeepSeek admits the same. And because it works on reinforcement learning algorithm, where it learns from its own feedback, you can see that it tries solving the same, but again, fails repeating the same mistake. Now, here comes the boss, or the GOAT, AI, Chat, GPT. Before I show the solution provided by Chat, GPT, let me show you how it can be solved using infinite series approach. Suppose the fly will meet the cyclist at this point. The relative speed between fly and this cyclist will be 30 plus 15 or 45 miles per hour, right? Therefore, the time for the fly to reach the other cyclist will be 30 over 45 or 2 by 3 hours. Thus, this distance, which is the distance covered by the fly in this time, will be 30 times 2 over 3 or 20 miles. And the distance traveled by this cyclist in the same time will be 15 times 2 over 3 or 10 miles. So, this will be 10, and therefore the remaining distance between both cyclists will now be 10 miles. We will again repeat this thing. The fly will now move this way towards this cyclist. Suppose the fly will meet the cyclist at this point. The relative speed between the fly and this cyclist will be again 30 plus 15 or 45 miles per hour. Therefore, the time for the fly to reach this cyclist will be 10 over 45 or 2 by 9 hours. Thus, this distance, which is the distance covered by the fly, in this time will be 30 times 2 over 9 or 20 over 3 miles. Noise. Now, the distance traveled by this cyclist in the same time will be 15 times 2 over 9, or 10 over 3 miles. So, this will be 10 over 3 as well, and therefore the remaining distance between both cyclists 
will now be 10 over 3 miles. Let us do this one last time to get a pattern. Fly will move this way. Relative speed will be 45 miles per hour. So, time for the fly to reach the other cyclist will be 10 over 3 divided by 45 or 2 by 27 hours. Thus, the distance covered by the fly in this time will be 30 times 2 over 27, or 20 times 9 miles. And this will continue forever. This way, if we add all the distances traveled by the fly, we get 20 plus 20 over 3 plus 20 over 9, and so on. This is how we get an infinite geometric series where the first term is 20 and the common ratio is 20 over 3 divided by 20 or 1 over 3. This is the formula to calculate the infinite geometric series sum. Put A and R here to get 20 over 1 minus 1 over 3 or 30 miles, which is the same answer we got using the direct method, and boom! Chat GPT solved it in a similar manner and was able to provide the correct answer. And therefore now you know who is the boss. So goo!